They may be based here in Douala, but their ground of operation is vast. It goes from the defense of the country's airspace, where they interfere from the air, to logistical support, plus assistance to other forces and civilians. In a nutshell, their operations are solicited in almost all fronts. We have three herbs, the support, the support herbs, the air force herb, and the land force herb. We are able to, 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 to deal with you know, many type of uh, operations. For example, in case we, we are called to help police and gendarmerie, for the security of the town, we, we are able to do that. And uh, of course, concerning the, the Air Forces, we are doing many types of missions like uh, bringing uh, our forces very close to the field and uh, we can bring our soldiers, we can bring uh, the materials, the equipment and uh, even the food. And we can transport uh, VIPs, uh, we can transport any kind of, even the, our population. And uh, we are also uh, doing paratroops flight. They bring material, food, medical and air transport relief to the population just as their Air Force base opens its doors for interaction with the public. This move is an avenue which solidifies the army nation relationship. In the base, two or three times a month, we are receiving visits from uh, universities, schools, I would say a group of people. So they come here to visit the base, to interact with uh, our, our soldiers. That's the first thing. And uh, Concerning people from, from the north, we, we transport them from Douala Yaoundé to Marua, uh, free of charge. In 2015, when the, the, the war started at the uh, Central African Republic, we had to bring back our, the Cameroonians who were there. We did, uh, with every aircraft, it was uh, two, two trips a day from Bangui to Yaoundé. We have to keep live the ties, the links with the populations and help them know that we are their tools to protect their lives, their belongings, and their tools to support them in the daily life. So this link, army and nation, is true. At the time the COVID-19 pandemic was at its peak in the country, the input of the Air Force was invaluable. Almost all aircrafts at that time was grounded. We, we were the only one to fly. And uh, it was quite difficult. As a military, we, when we float, we had our nights in the aircraft. We were transporting uh, uh, doctors from uh, uh, Congo. Congo, Kinshasa, to Niger, Burkina Faso, Mali. And we, we had to take uh, uh, one of uh, an important official from Congo Brazzaville to, to, to Yaoundé. Their contributions in backtracking Boko Haram crisis cannot be underlooked. The first thing we did was to take our soldiers to the land of operations. And uh, the other thing was to take back the terrorists yeah, from Marwa to Yaoundé, for them to be, to be, to, to, to act with the justice. And uh, again, the transportation of equipment, food, uh, mission of uh, Evazan, Meaning that uh, all the, the wounded, wounded soldiers, even wounded uh, civilians from uh, Marwa to, to Yaoundé. The Air Force work in close unison with other components of the country's defense and security forces.
The collaboration is at a very, very good level. We, I can say that we work together. As I said uh, early, we are the one who take them from a place to another place. So the collaboration is very, very good. In order to better carry out their missions, H3, the 201 Air Force Base make use of the C-130, the Kaza CN-235, and the MA-60 aircrafts with each having specific characteristics. The C-130 is able to transport about 100 people. Uh, and uh, even uh, 10 tons of material. For example, 10 tons from here to Paris. We can uh, make uh, paratroop activities. And uh, the second one is uh, <clears throat> the MA-60. It's a Chinese aircraft able to transport about uh, 60, 60 people. And the third one is Kaza, uh, Charlie November 235, able to transport up to 50 people. With this arsenal in place, Cameroonians are guaranteed that their national security territorial sovereignty from the air is safe, a reassurance that further comforts the entire nation in this time of multilateral attacks and crises.